Uh, my name is Michelle Maynard and I am 23 years old. I race triathlons and I graduated from the University of Illinois this May and I'm currently attending the University of Colorado at Boulder where I am working toward a master's in environmental engineering. I was born and raised in Champaign, Illinois. My parents are Ed and Brenda Maynard and my dad's from New Jersey and my mom's from Texas and they're both marathoners. I started very young in athletics. I First had my first inspiration was watching the Barcelona Olympics on TV when I was about two years old, and when I saw the Olympic flame lit, I ran all the way to the park, which is about a mile <laughs> a mile away from our house, and so that kind of started my Olympic journey. After I'd shocked my parents with my two-year-old Olympic dream, they enrolled me in gymnastics classes, but I, my upper body was too weak to do handstands, and so my coach suggested that I start swimming. And so I started started some lessons about age four and have swam ever since then. It's hard to pull me out of the pool for longer than a week or so. <laughs> Besides running around everywhere as a kid and joining some lessons, my dad did a triathlon when I was about 11. And he challenged me and told me I probably couldn't do it, and which is a guaranteed way of getting, getting me to do it. <laughs> so the next year when I was 12, I did my first triathlon on my rickety old mountain bike and ran around the park. And, got third in my age group first time around as a 12 year old. After I had been bitten by the triathlon bug, he, he pulled a bike off the side of the road and told me if, if I wanted it, I could fix it up. So I fixed up my first road bike and ended up winning that first race that I had done by age 14. and Just fell in love with the sport from there. Well, I started out and as a triathlete, you, I saw that all the other Olympic triathletes had been swimmers. So I was, I was gonna stick with my swimming into college and I got into the University of Illinois in engineering and swam D1 for the university for all four years. For the first time my senior year, I ran into a roadblock. I had, I was having trouble training and I was having issues recovering and we just didn't know what was wrong with me. I had tests for mono done, I had regular blood tests done, but they couldn't find anything. And then in October of my senior year, we found out that I had been born with a heart defect, that I had been training, racing, swimming, running, biking with for 22 years. And so January of 2012, I had heart surgery for Wolof-Parkinson's-White syndrome. So Wolof-Parkinson's-White syndrome is a birth defect that ha it gave me an extra pathway in my heart. And so my heart would pr pretty much short circuit. And so it was very inefficient, which of course is not good for endurance athletics. And after a three week mandatory dry period, I got back in the water and was able to swim my last swim meet for the University of Illinois and setting the best time in the 100 freestyle in the process. <laughs> the whole process of being injured and coming back from it has given me a completely new perspective as an athlete as far as the importance of recovery and training. After I had been assured my recovery process was on track, I began to start racing again and looking toward world, the World Championships in Auckland in October. Heading down to Auckland for the World Championships was really exciting for me. I was able, had the opportunity to go to Worlds two years ago in Budapest and to be able to go back and race at a World Championship was very exciting. I finished 12th at the World Championships and I was the third American. And in the Aquathon, I was the top American and placed fifth overall. Part of what I love about triathlon is the community and all the wonderful people I meet. But part of it is, is having the opportunity to apply my entire skill set, my swimming, biking, and running, and being able to cover all the bases. A coach told me when I was younger to do less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. My number one inspiration growing up was always my coach. She taught my mom's prenatal class, so she knew me before I was even born. And she got me in, in the pool as a six-month-old. She got me to gymnastics classes. She got me into swim team. And just her boundless energy always inspired me, and I wanted to be as hardworking as she was. When I'm having trouble getting up and getting myself out the door, I always remember that little two-year-old girl who saw that Olympic flame and went running down the street. It's something I've worked for my whole life, is to be an Olympic athlete, and it's something I aspire to. And it's a whole package. It's training, it's racing, nutrition, it's being an example for the community. My name is Michelle Mater, and I am Driven. Tell me who you are.